now that you've got the rotor installed on the arbor, we have to set it up for machining. First of all, to absorb the vibrations that machining will cause, we need to put uh, a band on the rotor. And I'll do that now. Doesn't have to be over tight, it just has to be on snugly. And the, the end excess has to be tucked underneath. Then we move the rotor as close to the uh, structure of the machine as you can with the crank over here. So we bring it all the way until it stops, don't force it, and then back it off about half a turn to three quarters of a turn. We also will move this one back somewhat so that the back of the uh, machine platform is past the edge of the rotor, not too far. Take the nut off, and then we have to install and center the twin facing tool. Now it's very heavy, don't drop it. It goes on, on the, the flat portion of the way, we just lightly, or uh, not too tight, uh, screw the nut down and then move it in parallel at right angles to the rotor. This angle here at right angles, not, not exactly right angles, but as close as your eye can take you. And then you have to uh, center it this way. You can see the slot, you've got lots of movement. And I'm going to move it down a little bit. Then we're going to move the teeth all, not all the way back, all, as far enough that they clear the rotor this way. Now to move them back is counterclockwise. And then we're going to center it exactly as your eye can make it middle of the rotor and tighten the nut. To check that we have clearance, we can see that we can move the twin facing tool in and out without touching the rotor. It is now ready for machining. Thank you very much.